Hey everybody, I am back with another acrylic paint technique. This is called a paint dip or a flower dip technique. I did not make this technique up, although I haven't seen anybody use a gel printing plate for this technique. I've only seen people use hard surfaces uh, that is covered in plastic which works perfectly fine, but during my live stream a couple days ago, I wanted to give the gel press a try, or the gel printing plate a try, uh, to see if it would work. And how I was using it was I was kind of using it as a stamp instead of doing this dip technique, and it got me thinking afterwards that I would give the dip technique a try with the gel printing plate. Before I go any further, if you would do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. And also leave me a comment down below. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you are notified every time I upload and I go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And all of the supplies will be listed in the description box down below. I am also going to uh, link in the upper right hand corner a video that is going to tell you all about an event that is coming up. It's called A World of Heart and you can click that and it will tell you all about it. Alright, so I started off with some white paint and I added a little bit of blue, purple, pink, and I put all of that paint on the gel printing plate. And for this technique, I am trying out a bunch of the white paint on my board here. And this is just a really cheap MDF board or some really cheap wood uh, material that I got at Walmart. So I added a lot of the white paint, like I said, and I don't know the Floetrol and paint ratio. I just was kind of adding as I was trying to see what the consistency that I liked. Uh, but I will have links in the description box down below to, to channels where you can hopefully figure that out that is a little bit more helpful. I am still learning, I am still kind of playing around and I don't have exact measurements for you guys. So I apologize for that. But the white paint that I added to the round board was a mixture of white acrylic paint and Floetrol. And the amount of Floetrol that you want to add to acrylic paint depends on how thick your acrylic paint is to begin with. So the white acrylic paint that I uh, am using was a little bit thicker, so I added a little bit more Floetrol and then just a tad of water just to thin it just, to t just a little bit. All right, so you saw me using a straw to move around that color a little bit or that paint, uh, and I'm going to explain the dip technique um, two more times, so hopefully you guys can get the hang of it. And in the end, I am going to show you how you can use up all of that extra paint so you're not wasting any. All right, I am adding that white paint to this canvas. And again, it is mixed with Floetrol. It's just acrylic paint with Floetrol. Uh, no resin or anything. And I'm adding just enough to this canvas so that I can coat the top of it. It's not a very thick layer, just enough so that the top is coated. I think the magic in this technique is having the white acrylic paint or if you are adventurous and want to use black or some other uh, color on the canvas as well, you can do that as well. It doesn't have to be white. Uh, I am just using white because I'm still learning. So um, I did add a little bit more acrylic paint to my gel printing plate here. So I added a little bit of white, black, and a little bit of yellow. And then you're going to see here, I am going to flip it over and this is so easy and it's so fun just to kind of see what it creates and it's different every single time and like I said you can get a few different impressions with with um, all of that paint that I added I just added a little bit more paint because I just was playing around so um, but you definitely don't have to add more paint so I kind of froze the screen here so you guys can see how cool that is and it has a cool little texture to it like it's um, 
you'll see just here it's really cool I I can't get over how pretty it looks just so it's so simple um, all right so here is another canvas and I was running out of white acrylic paint so I was trying to um, use up as much as I could get out of this bottle uh, and I again added more paint to my gel printing plate I added more pink and blue and that purple and then I'm trying to stretch all of that white paint as far as I can it didn't quite cover the canvas but that's okay I still really like how this one turned out so I flip it over and also I didn't mention yet is you want to press it down in the center and then when you're ready to lift up you kind of want to rock it side to side and back and forth just a tad you don't want to twist it or anything well you can I've seen people do that but that's a different type of look um, but for this look you just tilt it side to side back and forth and lift up lift up very slowly um, I have my video sped up just a tad so that's why it may maybe seems like it's going a little bit faster but that one turned out beautiful as well so I am going to show you now uh, a very simple technique to get all of that paint up so you're not wasting any. I just have these strips of paper. Uh, this is cardstock paper and just like using your gel printing plate, you are going to lift up that acrylic paint. Simple and it looks amazing. So the first time I lifted it up straight up or yeah from the front to the back and then this next the second one I lifted it from the sides to the center which gives a really cool effect as well I didn't have any more white acrylic paint or any more canvases to do my prints on so that's why I'm just lifting it up with the paper and I have plans for these definitely very soon I know you guys all ask me if I can make projects with them and I will for sure but that is going to complete this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if this is something that you want to try. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.